and there were also with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind so that it was situation alone and oftentimes this is what we do but Christ is saying in order to overcome this storm you have to reach out to me and when the disciples realized that they couldn't handle it anymore they reach out and they call Jesus brethren the first person you should call in your storm is Jesus and I want you to realize that even in the midst of the storm, while everything was rushing inside the ship, Jesus wasn't touched. He was calm because he is not touched by all the confusion and the noise that are happening in our life. He wants us to just reach out because he knows what is happening. But he wants us to remember the promise because he said that, let us go over on the other side and Jesus promised to take us over on the other side and he wants us to exercise faith he wants us to exercise faith you see in Matthew 17 and verse 20 Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief verily I say unto you if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed he shall Say unto this mountain, Remove, hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. If you exercise faith, brethren, in the midst of your storm, your storm will go away. And it doesn't matter what you are going through. Remember the promise that Jesus said, let us pass over and this too shall pass. And I want you to say this affirmation from Isaiah 43 
verse 2 claim the promise over your life when thou passest through the waters I will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shall not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee this is a promise that Christ has left with us and I want you to claim it and remember whatever you're going through Christ is saying let us pass over not you alone in the situation but you with Christ remember that you are an overcomer <laughs> you will win you will overcome but you will only overcome with Christ I pray that you'll have a lovely day a marvelous day and remember that God is with you I love you but God loves you more have a great day Thank you.